Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the Mutt Heroes Part 2 esque and some L and an LTD player that they just dropped today as well. Of course, as you guys know, the LTD player could take quite a while to get on the block. So, you guys know the deal. Don't expect it to be up just, just yet. But let's start off with some of the other stuff with the Mud Heroes. Now, guys, Mud Heroes Part 2, I don't want to say it's Part 2 in terms of, like, a big player reveal. But we did get some LTDs. We have some objective list changes. Going to be fun in general for everyone. So I'm definitely excited to go check everything out now. If you guys did see the quarterback situation, right? If you guys saw who we got, the Baker Mayfield. That quarterback does look insane. That card looks absolutely crazy. You have to check his stats out. Once he's up on the block, I will show them to you guys. But before we get into the video and go through everything that does come with this Part 2 reveal, let's head on out real quick and just real quick if you guys are new to the channel subscribe turn that noti bell as always uh comment down below guys let me know down below what you think of the new maker mayfield as well as the new objective list let me know if you enjoy the mud heroes program promo right it's been a little bit different this year than it's been in years past i'm used to mud heroes being low 90 overalls or even high 80 overalls right and coming out in like october september and then maybe getting a mud heroes 2 but it seems like we just got the mud heroes 2 and mud hero 1 it is what it is and if you guys do need coins for the new Baker Mayfield, heading down to Muck Coin Bank down below, guys. You could pick up so many coins for such a cheap price. Make sure to take advantage so you can upgrade your team. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying your day. Let's get into this video. So let's head on over to the Mutt Heroes objective list. Daily assist. As this, you know, this stuff's been going on, guys. Make sure you're doing this. So breakthrough, big, uh, big lungs barricade. Get five sacks and a Mutt Heroes badge. Make sure you're doing this. Just collect Mutt Heroes badges, you know, daily. Now the thing that did update here was the um, part two. So. As you guys can see here, origin story, time to step into the big leagues, defeat your arch, ne arch nemesis, to be continued, to be continued. So there's four parts total, right? As you can get another free 97 overall player. I mean, that's pretty cool. So based on this, guys, that does pretty much mean that we will be getting four free 97s, right? Week one, week two, week three, and week four. So we'll be getting four free 97s for your team, which is actually pretty cool, guys, because in a promo, typically you get one free player, right? You're getting four, four free 97s. Obviously, we're later in the year. They're going to be a bit more lenient, a bit more generous because, they got, again, it affects their pocket less give us more stuff at this point because people are buying less packs, you know, so on and so forth. You know, keep longevity on the game, all that stuff. But besides the point, you guys get another free player. So you got to go ahead and do the, uh, do the stuff as per usual. You guys know the deal. 95 overall, 93 overall, and 93 overall, which will give you, again, the same thing as before to go ahead and get the player that you do need. Now, the only thing is, so as you guys do see here, you got to play through the solos, and you got to go through these objectives, of course. Now, in my opinion, these Mud Heroes are good cards. Not all of them are meta, but that's why you want to be picking the ones that are great. Now, I did do a rankings video, if you guys didn't see it, ranking the best ones to take. Definitely go check that out. Now, again, they are auctionable, so remember, if you guys do have a problem with, you know, like, keeping a player of that value, or you guys have a maxed out meta team, and you really can't take advantage, it doesn't mean you don't want to play the solos. If you have a maxed out meta team, that's fine. Just go ahead. And go play the solos. Pick the most expensive Mud Hero card from the pack. And go sell them. Easy coins to make there. Definitely take advantage of that. Because some people might see, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't need a Nat, you know, Mud Hero card because it won't start on my team. I have a theme team, whatever. But it's fine. Go ahead and just get the most expensive player and sell them. And if not, you can actually start him on your team and get a good player out of it. So definitely take advantage of that. And there will be another one on 319, which is a week uh, from today. And then another one on 326, which is two weeks from today. So make sure you guys are staying tuned for all that. So you guys can go ahead and take advantage of this when it does come out. Now, remember, if you guys do want the free player, you're going to come over to sets. Well, first play the solos, right? Go through all the solos, do all that. And then once you're done, you want to come over to sets and go to masters. What you're going to do is you're going to put those players you collected into the sets. So it's, not like a, it's not like a fantasy pack where you get to just pick. You know, like in, in past, like you guys think there's a pack at the end of the solos. No. Some people might be confused on that and wait for their free player. And you got to go to the sets, take those three players you earn, and put them into the sets. Now, the ones I recommend real quick to give you a quick rundown. And if you guys want in-depth analysis, go check out my video. Like I said, Lamar Jackson, an option. Tyron Smith, an option. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Brian Burns is good. Bradley Chubb is good. Xavier Rhodes is good. And Mason Crosby, if you have a complete meta team and you just want a kicker. Right, those are those are my made my options. If you guys want to see in-depth analysis and go over some other stuff, head on over to the video I did post. You will get to see a bit more in terms of what my thought process was when picking those cards. Now it's heading over to the auction block. Baker Mayfield should be up at this point. Let's check him out. That card looked insane from the uh you know, the the Twitter, the Twitter uh, reveal. But as you guys know, behind the card stats and so on, you know, 
cams, abilities, that stuff is really what makes or breaks a, a good player these days. So you really got to check all that out. So let's go go to Mud Heroes. Will he be up? Probably. Oh, he's up. That's actually interesting. Typically, stuff like this isn't up yet. So let's take this, this off so you guys can see his card art real quick. So you guys have a pretty good idea. Now, Baker Mayfield looks great. That card art, super cool. I did not expect the Baker Mayfield card, but this could be a really good card in Madden right now. So he can be, he cannot be powered up, which is going to hurt him. But he has 88 speed, 97 throw power, 98 short accuracy, 95 medium accuracy, uh, 96 deep accuracy. He has 96 throw under pressure, 98 throw on the run, and 95 play action. Now, in my opinion, this card is absolutely insane. I wish he had a power up though. Not having a power up does hurt him. Um, but power, you know, chemed up, I should say. He will have 99 throw power. 99 throw short, 99 throw medium, and he will have, I think that's it actually, I think that's it, on the front of the card now, here's the thing, if he gets a power up in the near future guys, this quarterback will be insane, Baker Mayfield will have a 90 speed, 90 speed and 99 throw on the run, as a, you know, as a guy who has the pocket passing ability of Tom Brady in this game for some reason, his agility will be above a 90, his strength's actually 75, which isn't bad, his acceleration's a 92, um, let's see. His carrying is an 82, which isn't horrible. His change of direction is 85, which is decent. I mean, break sacks, 93. That's pretty good as well. Throwing a pressure, 96. Guys, if he gets a power up, this may be the best quarterback in the game. The only thing is he's an improviser. But because of his, uh, you know, his, th his thresholds and attributes, he may be able to get all the abilities you want. The only thing is going to be AP, of course. But that's always been a problem, you know, depending on how much they cost per ability, all that stuff. But otherwise, this Baker Mayfield on paper does look like the best quarterback in the game. At least, you know, bang for your buck. You're getting the max throw power, accuracy, and all that with a 90 speed with Sprinter. If you can get Sprinter on him, like I said, uh, hopefully he gets a power up in the near future so you can even enhance him a little bit more. But otherwise, yeah, this, guys, this card looks good. It's a good card. I, I don't know why they give them. They, honestly, they have to start dropping cards with power ups. They should, like, this is like the Chase Claypool effect. Why would they drop a Chase Claypool that's a meta card with a power up and then not give us power up? It's like a tease, right? Also, a card this big should always come with a power up because. Not having a power-up really turns off a lot of people to the card, which is kind of annoying, especially if you were considering getting him. But hopefully, you know, they do go ahead and drop a power-up in the near future. Now, I'm surprised Baker hasn't gotten a power-up all year at least once. Uh, I wish they would have given him one by now, but this is what it is. Had a pretty decent year. I'm surprised he didn't get anything, but that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy uh, today's video. If you aren't to the channel, head down below. Uh, subscribe, turn on the noti bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Make sure to comment down below. Let me know, guys, which mud hero you plan to take from your next free 97 as well. Let me know down below. I'm very interested because, you know, the first one, we picked a guy. Now, picking a second guy could be even harder because if you're a meta team and you only had one spot, like, who's the next guy, right? Maybe you just take the coins. If you're a budget squad, maybe you have to decide, like, out of the five players, the name, like, who's who's the one for me? But yeah, let me know down below. And, of course, guys, if you guys need any coins, pick up Baker Mayfield or some new cards. Head over to Muck Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off. Take advantage, guys. Super cheap prices. But yeah, that's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the second video that will be coming out sometime later today. Uh, you guys will see it. Make sure to check it out. I don't want to miss it. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.